We should be live, Jane. We should be. We should be live. Good morning. <laughs> Let's hope so, eh? Oh, aren't that's... we looking tidy? Isn't it? It's neat. looking really clear and yeah, tidy. And very neat in here. And... Well done, you, Jane. <laughs> <laughs> we try, don't we? We do our we best. We do try. We do our best. She'll, uh, she'll be back here in the next few days, that Natasha. She's going to be here for over a week and she'll come in and she'll go. Where is everything? Yeah, well, she probably will <laughs> say, where is everything? Good morning. <laughs> Welcome to Natasha Makes. Um, she's not here, as we've just said, because everything is spotless. Um, my name's Gemma Pinfield-Thomas. I am Natasha's work wife, hence everything is spick and span. This here is our lovely stitchy witch, Good Jane morning. Alcock. Um, yeah, how are you doing, Jane? I'm all right, thank you. You've had a yes. Christmassy time of it, haven't we you? We have. We've had a very festive moment. It's been great. It's lovely. It's absolutely beautiful. I am so in love with this. It's just gorgeous. It's very classical, isn't mm -hmm. it? It's a timeless yeah. one. It's one that you'll be able to bring out every year and it'll yeah. go with everything. I really think it is, but the great thing about it is, and I said this the other day about this collection when Natasha and I launched it on Monday with yes. the bunting, is it is classic, it is timeless, but somehow, you know, you get some poinsettia prints and they're just a little bit, they're either too traditional or they can be a bit cheap looking. Yes. That sounds awful, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, I absolutely adore this collection. This is just, for me, it, it's got that balance to it. And the sage colour within it somehow makes it that little bit more contemporary. It just yes, fits really nicely in a modern down. home. I also thought when I was making this, it's actually not in your face Christmas. No. If you kept this up all year, nobody yeah. would actually notice. Nope, definitely not. I love it. And uh, applique as well, Jane. Oh, there's a thread. Just kidding. <laughs> it wasn't the thread that was holding everything together, so that was all right. That's okay. um, <laughs> But the, yeah, the applique in the middle. Yes, it's beautiful. I love it. It's not my pattern. It's another one it's of our not. lovely Annie's quilting it books. It is. We have a book. We have a book. We'd, we're um, showcasing these a lot recently, but they yeah. are. They're really handy to have. And there's lots of lovely patterns in there that you can have a play with. There lots are. of lovely ideas. We will go through the book. Of course we will. I'm just checking we're not talking to ourselves because, you know, it wouldn't be the first time, Jane, would it? <laughs> no, we do it a lot. Frequently, daily, <laughs> hourly, yes. all the time. Well, if you want here the best we answer. go. <laughs> are your mum's here? That's always a good start. Good morning, mum. <laughs> are we live or pre-recorded? I can't always tell. Claire Angelina, it is extraordinarily rare that we have a pre-recorded Wednesday. Yes. Jane and I are here, you see. I mean, Actually, here. ask us something, we'll prove it. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing too complicated, Dave, I know. Please. Well, to the fact that I've just commented <laughs> on your comment, unless I was really clever and predicted that one. Mm -hmm. We're here, we're live. That's true. Oh, lovely. Yes, we have Morning All Beautiful Quilt to Match a Beautiful Day from Julia France. Yes. Faye Thompson writes as Morning Girls. Live today. Yep, we are, we are. Yeah, we Sue are. Langford says good morning, as does Jane Vivash. Jimmy's with us as well. Morning, Jimmy. He's well, saying good morning evening. to Julia, to be honest, not us. Yeah, that's going to say he's talking <laughs> morning to everybody else. Too, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, well, this is good. Yes, yeah, so people can see us and hear us. I think that's always a good start. That's what we need. We need you to be here with us. We do. And we've got lots to show. So I think, yeah. 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 We'll do that, Jane. We've got lots, haven't we? We have. I've snuck something in um, that I, I wanted to show it. everybody. Did I you? spied it, yes. Crazy. And I was like, oh, yes, I love that. Well, it is Stitchy Witchy Wednesday. Officially, today's show is called Workshop Wednesday. That's our Wednesday slot. Yes. But a while ago, um, you were accused of witchcraft in the I stitchy was. sense. <laughs> um, so... On that basis, you ended up being called the Stitchy Witch. Yes. And lovely Tracy Perks has brought out a Halloween make. So I've kitted this up in planes. And I mean, the great thing about these kits is they're really easy to do. Um, her patterns are amazing. They create something fabulous. And it's all out of squares and half square triangles. Oh, they're fabulous. They're really um, lovely. But on that basis, I do think that they'd be fabulous for a beginner as well as a seasoned yes. pro. Absolutely. Um, so I have been kitting every single one of Tracy's kits out, or her patterns out, in planes. Just to keep the cost down for anyone who is entry level who wants to start quilting, or if you want to teach someone to quilt, these kits are really low cost. Um, so we have got... <laughs> Let's have a look, shall we? I love this. This pattern, which is just fabulous. If you've not used one of Tracy's patterns before, we have... Well, Jane, talk us through how her patterns work, because they're brilliant, aren't they? They are. As um, Gemma was saying earlier, they're just squares and tri half square triangles. And the, the pattern itself is very easy to follow. There's a lovely um, tick chart. The squares are all cut at um, 
two inches and then three inches for your half square triangles that you then trim down. You can see it's done on a grid basis so you can see where the half square triangles and the squares fit in. There's a little demo here about how to make half square triangles, easy to follow, lovely clear instructions. And then there's a put together chart so it tells you how many squares and what colours go in each row and then you join your rows together. Row by row. And as you can see, with this pattern, it would be very easy to break it down into components. So yes. you could do a, a cushion with a hat on or a pumpkin, or as Tracy's done here, she's just done the, the witch's boots. Which is great, a little wall hanging, Which is isn't a little, it? like a wall hanging, or, you know, table, table mats, runner, yeah. table mats, whatever. So it's a lovely pattern, very easy to follow. And I notice on Tracy's, she's put pom-pom trim within the binding, she which has, gives it a lovely so element fun. of fun, doesn't yeah. it? And she has put a jazzy binding on it as well. Yeah, now, nice stripey one. The kit that we've put together, you've got plenty of option here. So Tracy's given us a fabric requirement. We've got generous with how much fabric we've given you, especially with the you know beginner in mind. And if you're worried about cutting your fabrics, there's more than enough here. So, for example, you needed an orange. We've given you the full quantity of the orange and also another colourway so that you've got a choice of oranges because you might want to just do, you know, we could mix pumpkins it up, in, different you, in different colours. Or you might want to block your pumpkin out and have different elements, different squares within it. I've seen checkerboard pumpkins before. They looked fabulous. But we've given you plenty of fabric to work with. That kit is 23 99 which is for a table runner, Jane. Quite silly. fabulous. And then Tracy's patterns are available in printed format or digital. They're just £10. Um, so, yeah, really nice gift, actually. If you want to uh, help a friend who's perhaps looking at starting to, to start, sew, yes, I've got friends yeah. who are in that bracket. And what a great place to start. It's a lovely, it's a lovely um, way of constructing a quilt yeah. with Tracy's. They're very straightforward, very easy to follow. And like you say, great for a beginner. But if you, mm. you know... Sometimes you just want a, something that you can sew quickly. Yes, yes. And if you've been doing it for a while, that's great because it's yeah. just very easy to see straight away how it mm. goes together. It's I've lovely. really enjoyed making these. Um, and what I loved about them in the early days was I was creating something that was a thing. Like it wasn't just, a, a, I mean, not that there's anything wrong with it, but it wasn't just, which is all I'd done at the time, squares sewn together yes, and some half square triangles sewn together that just had nice fabrics that just looked pretty. Yeah, It was an actual thing. You know, yes. there was a bee. Yes. Or in this case, you know, Halloween items or there was a giraffe. And it's like, oh my word. And anyone who's not trained, of course, looks at that and goes, how on earth have you done that? You're so clever. And we all know it's just sewing squares together and some half square triangles. Yeah. But it gives that brilliant it's aspect of being something yeah. really nice, striking. Nice, straightforward, clear patterns. Absolutely. Yeah. And designs, lovely. Exactly that. And if you are a fan of Tracy's patterns, or any of our designers, in fact, we do have everything broken down on the website. You can go across on that main page to where it says designers. You'll then see there's resident designers, of which there's three of us. And underneath there'll be a section that says guest designers. And Tracy's in the guest designers. They're, they're alphabetically, if you click on her, all her kits, all her patterns, they're all listed out. And as a little tiny, little tiny, tiny heads up, I may have been able to put a few, and these really are absolute last chance, I may have been able to grab a few kits together that have got some designer print in. Ooh. So the bumblebee that we did yes. with the pink and purples background yes. was in Moda Grunge. Yes. One kit, done, nothing else. We'll never ever recreate that. No. It's in there and that's it. Lovely. That you, after that, you've had your chance. Yes. That's what we're saying. Yes. Talking of which, if you missed the Friday newsletter, you may have missed that SJ has created a section on our website called Last Chance. It's in the shop. When you click and you see the drop down, you've got Half Me to Heavens and other things listed there. There is now a section, Last Chance to Buy. It is a grab me now or lose me forever moment. So have a little peep in there. It may be that you've regretted something in the past, not yeah. purchasing it. If we found one in the warehouse, or we've managed to squeeze a last one out of what we've got left, yeah. it'll be there. You'd never guess we would be having a bit of a tidy up in the warehouse, would you? <laughs> Just you and I have yeah. been like, <laughs> it's been great fun. Where's this kit brilliant. come from, we've said? <laughs> yes. yeah. Look at this and quite often, it's just simply that when we've cut one for the show, the one that we've shown you, 
In fact, you may receive it and it may have a little sticker on it with handwritten what's exactly in it. It'll be my handwriting or Jane's or Natasha's, yeah. you know. And that is likely what it is. And it's been packaged neatly. It's been put to one side on a shelf. And then we've gone, what's all this lot here? And we've pulled that out and it's that last demo kit that we've literally just found out on the show, folded back and put back into a plastic yeah. wallet or an envelope. So do it, do it. Have a little look. Oh, there's loads of comments. <laughs> 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 oh, coffee, revels and a Lisa Chandler panel pocket tote, says Julia Florence. Oh, nice. That's that a good morning, like a good it? morning. Debbie Thomas loves Tracy's patterns as well. And she also says, good morning, Gemma and Jane. Hope you're having a good day. Well, we're together, so of course. Yes. Of course, always. What more could you want? We sew. <laughs> Absolutely. We love it. Beautiful fabric and sewing. It's not a bad life, is it's it, a really? It's a hard job. Somebody's going to do it. Not a bad life at all. Do you know, I've just seen myself. I feel like I'm in camouflage. I kind of disappear into the <laughs> poinsettia plaza fabrics. Um, which does remind me, Jane, we have lots to show and lots to do. And one of which is showing these fabulous fabrics. Yes. Have you got everything cut? You haven't, have you? I've got just the kits cut, oh. so I've cut the kits, the two kits That's that we're fine. going to do today. The fabrics that I've brought through, those ones there are in the kit. Yep. And these ones here are not in the, well, this oh, one is in the kit, so but these organized. ones here are in, are in the collection. Yes. This one is very Christmassy with its beautiful snowflakes. Yes. But the beautiful paisley. Oh, I love it. It's just gorgeous. It. And to me, definitely not, not Christmas. Let's go overhead. But it's such a lovely colourway. I can yeah. see a really nice scarf in this. Yes, or a shirt. absolutely. That is just beautiful. I'm going to make Mini PT a uh, halter neck top in this. Oh, yeah, she, she looks, looks stunning. Fabulous in, it. in a paisley. And she loves green. She doesn't normally wear red. Um, but this is a really soft red, isn't it? Yeah. Oop. Oh, that's all right, Jane. Just throw everything everywhere. It's now, this one. <laughs> It's, mo it's all Moda fabric and it's all the same collection, but yes. this one gives me a feeling of um, William Morris. It really does. It's called Bouquets. It's still part of this Poinsettia Plaza collection, but it's just such a classic print. I mean, look at that. It's a beautiful colour. It really it's is. It's a soft, um, corally red, I would say. Really beautiful, isn't really, it? Really, really lovely. But again, that, classic. just a classic print that you could use over and over again. These are both cut, but cut by they are cut to order. by the half meter. Yeah. And Jane, if someone was looking to make today's quilt and wanted to back it, this would be a beautiful option to go on the back. Absolutely. And how much would they need? You would need. I would get three meters. You won't need all of that, but it's just wider than width of fabric. Yes. So it's a 43 inch square i think yeah comes so you'd out. be able so to piece your back yeah and then you'd have some left over you'd have wouldn't you loads of cushions, over, and, cushion covers yeah. and stuff like that really or table lovely. mats yes yeah table mats because you know you'll have some other bits left from yeah. the yeah this is gorgeous great but absolutely no hint of christmas in that fabric no. either but it's just with that collection and it's just such a classic print it's lovely as is this beautiful paisley print out there, boss is watching us. She says, cup of tea on the go. Loving Jane's quilt today. Thanks. She's done a good job of this one. Imagine, definitely done a good job. Um, Susan Forsyth Bishop says, good morning, lovely ladies. I love Wednesday with your makes. Oh, thank Four you. Four witches. Four of them, Jane. Four witches. I do wonder whether the thought is <laughs> <laughs> there is more than one witch in this here building. Oh, well, it's maybe. <laughs> they may be that all of us are slightly. I cackle, to be fair. I cackle enough. Don't realize well, we're all very magical with stuff. Mm. Where well, you we? hear yourself back and then you hear a cackle and you go, oh, heck. Didn't realize I, I hate hearing myself so backwards. <laughs> like, we're not a fan, are we, Jane? No. We will look at the kits in a minute, but first we need to look at the half meter heavens, don't yes. we? Yes, there's some um, gorgeous fabrics in here. Because those go live tonight. I am going to keep grabbing comments, but I'm just very aware there's lots to see. Yeah, we'll whiz through these. Also, before Jane starts putting these under the overhead, we haven't beaten her up. Look, what, what have you done? What if you'd trapped my arm? You did. It's not us. No, it was we just a silly. Up. It was a silly thing. You know, you do stuff and you think, why did I do that? It's we all do it, don't we? Go. I'm the accident and I was like, one that's going to bruise. <laughs> you and I are actually. We, we we have this competition to see who can be the most accident prone. We'll come into work and go. You'll never guess what I did last night. <laughs> <laughs> I am known it's for it. Fun, Depending on my it? shadow, I'm very good at it. Oh, it's not yeah. good, is it? My mother spotted that I matched the backdrop today. <laughs> 
Rose Raylan says good morning. It's a beautiful morning. dress. It oh. is a beautiful dress. Oh, it's, it, I didn't make it just before anyone gets ahead of themselves. It is a it is a purchase one. Rose Rayland says, Good morning, lovely ladies from a sunny France. It was twenty six and a half degrees here yesterday and it's another lovely day again today. It's not far France, is it? No. What's it's going not on? cold here though. It's like really weird. Not twenty six and a half no, degrees. It though. isn't, but for October it's very mild. It is quite mild. It is quite mild. It was a bit chilly yesterday. Yeah. But I'd got my fleecy lined leggings on. Oh that was good. Vicky bought me some. Good she thinking. bought herself some fleecy line leggings and she said, I thought to myself, they're too good not to share. That's nice. And I said, that's lovely. And she went, I should probably point out, I mean, they're not the ones I've worn. <laughs> I bought you a pair. <laughs> but so, good fit. There's friends and there's really there's good friends. There's friends and there's friends. But no, <laughs> she bought me a pair. Bless her. Becky's back from her holly bobs. Bit sad. Lovely. Yes, I know. It's Just always ba- horrible. When how you come lovely back. is all of this? Cheered me up no end. Thanks, ladies. Oh, Karen's with lovely. us as well. She's not at Morrison's today. She went yesterday. Yeah. I saw her. She looked superb, as always, in her Halloween theme. Always does. Always does. And Ginny says good morning, everyone, as well. Lovely. Now, these are the half-meter heavens. I'm, we've got some that really are very, very limited. This is one of them. So when I say we've had a good rummage and we've perhaps found the occasional thing that was squirreled away, um, Natasha's probably going to start shrieking in the comments in a minute because I bet you any money some of this was squirreled sh- 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 away for her personal self. <laughs> Maybe. And we're <laughs> selling it on the show. <laughs> yeah. uh, so just one of these. If that was yours, Tash Sauce. Um, I'll teach you to stay in the It down. will. It will. Yeah. Down in that there Cornwall, Cornwall. away. Yeah. But yes, so we've got one of those. I that love this. That is with a peacock, is it? Or What's sapphire? It, sapphire. Oh, it, be- it brings out the blues beautifully. Sapphire. sapphire. Yes. There we Hocker are. Hocker Mums. Bit of Philip Jacobs with a beautiful bit of sapphire. We've got a bit of Cafe Stream. There it is, Jane. That is jazzy, that. isn't it? That's amazing. That would make a lovely co- infinity scarf. Amazing. Particularly with this lovely... You just need three fat quarters is for the infinity pomegranate? scarf. It is. Yeah. Three fat quarters with the infinity scarf. So if you had this, you could do two scarves. You could split that in two and grab two others and then you could make two scarves. This is what mm. I do. Make one for myself and one to gift because you fall in love with them when you, you make do, them. You do, you made them and you see how they go together. Beautiful. Even when they're not normally the colours or fabrics you'd wear yourself, once you've made one, you see how fabulous it is. You want to keep one. Yeah. It's great. So you get three half metres, you can keep one and gift one. Now this, this, this is, is a bit of Dina design. This is stunning. This Sandara. is beautiful. Vinithia, it's called. Such a lovely blue that. with those lovely peachy it is. colours. We put this with our hot tomato, Jane. Just lifts this bit here in the strawberries. It really does. It's really pretty. I love a paisley print. Anything a bit hippy dippy, and I'm all over it. And this is just a classic example of that. Beautiful. Yeah. Lovely cushion or nice tote bag. Yeah, this is this is not current <coughs> season as well. This is one that, uh, <laughs> as Inga would say, once you've uh, missed it, you've had your chance. Yes. It's her favourite words. Gemma, you had your chance to buy it. Don't be getting upset about it. And then I sulk. Bit of Anna Maria that. Horner. Now this Becca sold Nation. out and I found a little skiddly, skiddly bit. Again, very, very limited. And it's gone, rightly so, with chocolate. That really looks lovely with that. It does. These it really are beautiful does. colours. There's so many options of what to put this with, I should add. You know, if you did end up putting this in your stash and doing something else with this. Yeah, you've got your limes own. and yellow. Oh, there's so many choices. Beautiful bit of pink in there. Oh but the, the chocolate just let it sort of yes. jump for itself, really. Another Anna Maria Horner that we sold out of at a rate of knots is Source Code. And this is in Midnight. I love the colours in this. It's got yeah, a real definitely. vibrancy to it. And then we've paired it with... Azalea, nice. which is just perfect for Absolutely these bits. Absolutely matches that perfectly, yep. Yeah. Stunning. Great. <laughs> I'm getting messages. Have you been going through my stash? I thought we were out of stream. Where did you dig that up from? <laughs> well, little do you know what we have been up to whilst you've not been here, boss. You'll find out when you get back. At the weekend. This is lovely. This, this is this Blue is Romance. Michael Miller fabric. This is a reload. We sold out of this one. I found a little bit more, and I've shenanigated it into half meter heaven. Sometimes it forms part of a kit. Sometimes we just have underloaded just to be safe. Um, and this is where I end up being able to pull a last couple and pop them on the show. Nice so really truthfully, though, with some navy that would be lovely as cushion or 
Uh, hmm, that's what I'm worried about, she says. <laughs> oh, dear. You'll thank us later. You will, you will. <laughs> we need to get some money in, it's fine, and then you can buy some more stuff. Let's appease her with that, shall we? She yeah, likes spending. Yes. This is Hannah Banner. Not Hannah Banana, which is what everyone in the warehouse was saying when they were trying to pronounce it. And this is from that Yukata collection, Jane, that we used the other week for your absolutely stunning um, quilt. The Stiku, that's the one, Stiku quilt. And this is our powder blue. Isn't that lovely with that? Really lovely. Again, a beautiful classic fabric. That was great. Stunning isn't it? cushions in my lounge. Just decided. She's looking getting at ideas. That. She's getting ideas. Something else you've used recently was the Kate's Garden Gate. Oh yeah, this is lovely. It is. Now we literally had a tiny bit left on the end of the bolt. Is that upside down, Jane? I think yes, it, it is. is. Ah. Should we turn it round? Yeah, why not? Let's do it proper. You know, if we're going to. There we go. There we are. It's not obvious that it's directional, yeah. but you know. Races Sometimes you sort of squint <laughs> at it a bit, so you might notice. And we've put this one with misty blue. Again, there are so many things that could go with. That's beautiful. It works with the misty blue though, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Just on balance, a great choice. Super Tash chose yeah. that one, did she not? I think she did. Yes. Yeah, there's not many of these, is there? No. No. Two, to be exact. Yeah, yeah see? So fastest finger first on those ones. And again, we have... Oh, I'm looking which way around it goes now, Jane. I want to get it right. <laughs> we have the same print, but in the teal. I love this colourway. It's gorgeous, isn't it? And I love this pale. Is it peach that we've put that with? No, I've just I literally put it down and thought to myself, I didn't look at the sticker. Yes, with peach. That's really pretty because that, that mimics the, the pale colour in here. This is brilliant. This really lifts that. It does, and you just you move it around and you see it in different ways. Yeah. But that that teal really pops against it, it as well. Absolutely. Because the teal looks quite muted and then you put that with it and it just gives it some lift. It brightens it. Yeah, Clever it stuff. Does. The power of colour, everybody. We love it, how it works. We do. This is yeah. where the Half Meter Heavens came from, isn't it, Jane? Is, you know, you can't tell from a screen. You can't. Everybody's nope. screen shows colours differently. It does. Now, this collection has been insanely popular. This is Elixir. We featured some of this last week as well, and those half metre heavens were disappearing at minutes past midnight. Don't think I didn't notice. <laughs> um, and who can blame you? Because we've got these stunning accents here. Beautiful bits of copper. metallic copper. Sort of, well, almost rose gold. Gorgeous, very fine. Gorgeous. Very pretty. Just enough. Just a little, yes. a little touch. Just... You know, it's and again, a heavy. really adaptable fabric. There was quite a lot in here that we could yeah. have chosen to go with it, but we've gone with spearmint. Which really, you can Fresh, see how it? that lifts the, the teals in there. But if you popped it with a pink, it would do the opposite and bring those ones out. Shall we go ones close out? up, Jane? Shall we? A little closer. Shall we? Shall we? Have a little peep at that metallic, because I think you'll see it better. There we go. Can you see how it shimmers? But it's not loud and gaudy metallic. Look at no. that delicate little it's detail very there. very gentle. Really lovely. Again, beautiful. make a lovely frock or something, wouldn't it? Be Beautiful. difficult out of half a metre, but yes. Yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> I know, but we have, I think we've have still, we still got, got some loaded on the bolt. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Um, be really nice as a... That we keep saying about making a shell top, don't we? Yes. Sleeveless top with a, a can't be too high round for neck. people that are just used to no. saying straightish lines. No. Now, this is, again, the same collection, Elixir. This is Wavelength, and this one is definitely going to need a close-up. I have... For, for a lot of these this week, I've loaded an image from a reasonable distance so you get an idea of scale and, and you know, pattern repeat. But I've also zoomed in so you've got a close-up image and that will really help to show you the detail, especially with a print like this, which it's dazzling in real life, isn't it? Is, it is, yeah. Uh, we are all coveting it. We've all grabbed a bit, to be honest, put in our <laughs> stash for borders and binding. This is a binding. But this has gone beautifully with teal. And we will close up this one as well so yeah. that you can understand it. And you can see there's the metallic strip in this as well. It's beautiful, um, like smoky blues, greys and teal colour. Brilliant. And then this lovely metallic through it, running through it. Yes. Now, Tasha used this um, yesterday on her, well, it was Lisa's bottle bag. Oh, yes. She used this fabric to make it. We've taken the sample and tidied it away oh. into the warehouse. Otherwise, I'd have waved it at you. There's only three of these. Yep. So again, you've got to be quick. 
Now you can't go far wrong. I'm really sorry. Do you know what? Sorry, not sorry uh, for the fact there's so many half meter heavens this week. But I just couldn't resist. And I just thought, well, we're going to do a lot. But this here is our Philip Jacobs. As you know, he is my absolute fave designer. We love the brassica design. I, I this do fabric. love the brassicas is such a lovely fabric for patchworkers because yes. there's so many options for fussy cutting yeah. or mixing it up you've got such a lot in one piece of fabric there's not a scrap to be wasted as well no. because in your epp box even if you just use small little tiny components each every square inch has its element of beauty there is no waste in this at all it's just gorgeous um looks great with baltic doesn't it Absolutely. Look at that. It makes those pinks pop, which is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it's fabulous. It's wonderful. Fabulous. And wonderful, wonderful. Fabric. Helen Law says, morning ladies, trying not to spend my birthday money. Helen, what is my birthday money for if not for spending? On things that you wouldn't necessarily yes. buy yourself. Correct. Yeah. Things you are coveting, surely, are the best things to spend that birthday money on. Uh, this is House Leaks, Jane. It's another one of Phillips. It's beautiful. And we've put it with marine and we found out why they're called house leaks oh ha, ha, go on then a couple of our customers emailed me us which is wonderful thank you for that they were used to plug holes in the roof because Shush. they because they don't need soil root really yeah and so they would put them in the in the wow. roof to plug holes to stop the leaks how funny and yet it's leaks as in l-e-e-k yes like you well, know the vegetable words, isn't but that's it? so, so yeah. clever isn't it yeah amazing but that looks really beautiful with that blue. It's gorgeous. Is it royal or marine? Marine. Marine. Yeah, marine. Gorgeous. Now, next up is something that I have shenanigated. This, <laughs> I bet you Tasha's put this by for herself. Oh, this, this is, is some Odile Garden of Delights from the Brodery Bohem collection. Um, it's a bit lovely. Really I think lovely. I used this for one of the very first quilts that I did you with did. Natasha on, on when we first started. Yep. And, and then we squirreled it fabric. away. And we couldn't decide what to do with this. Because again, you've got fantastic elements. I don't know how much you can see on the camera, but again, I've put really lovely zoomed up images onto the product pages that you'll be able to view at midnight. But it all looks like it's been embroidered and stitched. Yeah, like stitches, isn't it? It's brilliant, actually, because if you wanted to put this into an embroidery hoop and work these sections, with you could have stitches. really good fun, couldn't you? You could create Embellishing something amazing. Embellishing it with bling, beads and all sorts of things. You Absolutely. Could have fun with that. But we just didn't know what to put it with because it looked fabulous with this. And it also looked fabulous with our lovely friend Chartreuse. I mean, it looked fabulous with various things. There yes. were other things we could have picked out, but we've loaded some of each. Some with Chartreuse and some with, I think that's our paprika, is it not, Jane? Yes, that paprika, yes. Shall we have a peep? I think that, you know, you bought the two, you get a quilt yes. kit, haven't you, really? Absolutely that. Absolutely yeah. that you have. This we know for sure. So, yeah, it was paprika. Lovely. I will just quickly let people have a sneaky peek close up, Jane, of this one so that they can see what I'm talking about. But that stitchy effect to it. I don't know whether we can see it. I'll just bring it a, bit, a little bit closer. Brilliant, isn't it? It's got a lovely... It's like hand embroidery. It is. There we are. You can see that. Because Odile is first and foremost an artist, you know, and, and this is great, isn't it? She's really gone to town with it. It's Had beautiful. so much fun with this. I love so it. Lo I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Very, very much. Oh, come on. Doesn't want to show our Got faces, sticky Jane. Buttons Can't blame it, can well, we? Well, no, I was going to say. <laughs> I want to show our faces. <laughs> so those are our half metre heavens, which go live at midnight. <clears throat> Marvellous. Are we uh, going to have a look at bolt ends quickly? Or very we, quickly, yes, we can. We have through. I say we. I was sat until 3 a.m. the other morning, scheduling these and putting them into the system. And then SJ sat and did some yesterday. We have been busy. So if you haven't visited our fabric clearance page recently, get over there and have a look. We have got new bolt ends on there. I've got a selection here. I think some have already sold. There is a ho whole load more that we haven't brought in to show you because we just don't have time. Um, Natasha, I know, has put a post on Facebook with just a few for you to peep at. But if we go overhead, we will have a peep. There's some beautiful ones in here. And again, it's, it's just you know, clearing off those last few bits of fabric that we've got. There's not enough yes. to make a project with. I love this one. This is part of the um, Love Llama 
Yeah, llama love. Llama love. Llama love with two L's. And it's like a daisy. It's really pretty. But really that, pretty. as a backing or as a blender within your quilt, just works perfectly. There's lots of lovely teals and and um, limey greens in there, as well as that little bit of red, sort of tomato -y red. These are end of bolt pieces. Some of them will be three meters. Some of them will be <coughs> less. And all of the ones that Jane has here are from the Llama Love collection. So if you bought some of that fabric and you want something to mix and match with it, you we'll can't go, the, go far you know, wrong with these. If you've made, it, made some, a quilt front, but you, yeah. you need some backing, this is the ideal opportunity. Because we've discounted it. Uh, absolutely. It's not going to you know, stretch you your purse space. too much. You need space on that there shelf. We've got some exciting stuff to you in. We've got some lovely things coming. Look at this. This has got the cactuses and the mountains in. It's a lovely print. And again, you know, cushion cushions or table runners or backings. Oh, Make a nice shirt, this one, actually, I it think. Would. Or a little girl's dress. Yes, Gorgeous. pretty. Martin says, uh, so many lovely fabrics. Thank you, Martin. This one is, I just love this. This is such a versatile fabric, and this would make pretty dresses, wouldn't it? It's like a daisy flower. Amazing. And this lovely love soft pink with that zingy sort of... Um, hot tomato colour and then there's a bit of, of um, turquoisey colour in there as well so really pretty really pretty fabric um, there's some more here this is a little small this would make a nice shirt as well this would make a lovely gentleman's shirt yeah it's also gorgeous. when you look at it from that angle it looks like a check but there's like diamonds in shapes in there yeah and little stars it's got sort of a bit of an anzaki anzaki feel to it hasn't hit like the print an Aztec thing Aztec going Aztec on. because i suppose with the llamas and everything brilliant it's a lovely colorway and then this is a little bit like a stylized flower as well but again gives a sort of checked finish look from a distance but it's um a pretty pale pink um with a little bit of orange like a little cross it is and there's dots of orange in there as well on this um, deeper sort of maroony colour background. These are lovely fabrics from a distance, but then you get close up and you see that detail. You detail really do. Um, so we've, it's, we've got it's, YouTubers um, as well, Jane. Michael Miller fabric, you know. Yes. It's, a, it's a lovely base cloth. It is. Michael Miller. Now, this is gone <coughs> before anyone gets super excited, but I am just going to say our bolt ends aren't always, you know, three metres and huge pieces. This was the last of the Klimt's and that has disappeared. That was snapped up yeah, was immediately. No hanging around with that one. Absolutely not. We've got some Liberty. Again, that is a small piece of Liberty. It's 88 centimetres, I think, that one, Jane. Yes. Um, but it had been scrolled away. Again, I can hear Tash shrieking. That was mine. That was mine, Tash. I love that with the daisies <laughs> on. It's such a pretty print. <laughs> and then your quilt backings, or just generally for your stash. These it's are lovely brilliant for beach flower. bags. And yeah, we had bits left on the shadow flower in different colorways. So we have got all of these colorways featuring in our bolt ends in varying lengths. So if you like this print, look at them, they look great together as well, don't, don't they? they? Just we love this for a bag. I just think it's big and bold and yeah, fabulous. Dramatic, it's lovely. But again, you can have loads of fun quilting with that. Yeah. We it's also have quilt bags. We have brilliant things like the jumbles and they let me just quickly grab that one jane actually yeah. you've got you know the orange and the blue they will pick out they will match up yeah so if you wanted won't they? to work some of these together they are your friend you know Look at that purple there that's got like a tealy there but it yeah. looks great with the but similarly yeah you know and it, you, you can bring these together in so many ways they're marvelous i love a jumble i just yes. think the jumble is a bit of a hero. Look at that. A, jumbles a great one for your stash because that's the sort of fabric that works well as a mm -hmm. blender. Yes. Because it's it gives an overall colour rather than yeah. you know working a pattern that sometimes if you cut it small you lose the effect. If you've got a cave stash, then jumble is going to be your very best friend because as you can see, I've, I've not prepped these at all. I didn't have a look beforehand. I mean, probably should have done. Don't listen, Tash. <laughs> um, but. I'm just looking at them straight away and going, well, this looks great with this. You've got the purple here. You've got yeah, the green here. The colour palette is there and they work. You know, they really, really work. And the same goes with, uh, you know, a lot of your stripes and your regimental ties. There's some fabulous prints. You can have fun with that. And that would look great on a backing of a quilt. You've got your lines yeah. there to quilt 
Follow exactly. the lines. Straightforward. No mess in there. Top tips. Absolutely. Top tips. But you you know. could even use that as a quilt front, a really quick quilt. You yes. know, for a liners project quilt or something like that. You don't have yes. to worry about it. Just sandwich them together and, and quilt along the lines. Look at this together. Beautiful. Look great. Colours go lovely. They look really great. So have a delve, see what you can find and what you fall in love with. Um, if you're like me, you'll love the Roman glass. I love it. That and the Millie Fury. It's beautiful. That it's make a brilliant. Stunning back of a quilt. Now that's a good sized piece as well. Look, nice three metre piece. Gorgeous. That again is a lovely one to have in your stash. There's so many colours in there that you can match with that. You could have that as a feature fabric with planes going through it. You know, just cut squares of it and put square, smaller squares around it. This, that's the brilliant thing with Cafe is there is so much going on in those fabrics that you don't really have to get complicated with your make. Um, and I think that's part of what we love, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. Those fabrics and those patterns will speak for themselves. So, uh, as I say, that is just a selection of what we had. It's not all. No, there's still loads. There's loads, isn't there? There's we loads. have been having a really good sort out. We have. Just because we do tend to, we're so busy cutting and packing and things that things just get left on the shelf. Yeah. We've had kits put together, the bolts have been stacked yeah. up and then they don't get used. The kit's gone out because there's new kits coming all the time. Yeah. And there's this. And we underload so that we yeah. can make sure that we can supply orders because it's really rare that we run out of something and we have yeah. to disappoint someone, but we hate it when it happens. Oh, it's really frustrating. Um, so then we have that deficit to load again yeah um, so there's sometimes they get a little bit like wallpaper don't they and then suddenly we've got the time to have yeah. a little bit of a tidy up and we're like what's this fabric doing here why and we'll is this still here look on the system here? and say why is it not so oh because no one can see it <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> let's list it so someone can see it but by that point we've normally got more fabrics due to come in so that is when we start to look at yeah. discounting and offering you some nice quilt backing uh, or a decent amount to go in your stash but today, Jane, you're going to be a busy bee demoing yes, for I've us. I've got some lovely kits You've got here. lovely kits. You've got a fabulous book. So I'm going to go into overhead. I'm going to let you show everybody what today is all about. We've had a, we've had a lovely selection of Annie Quilt's um, quilting books in. They're great books. They're, they're such good value for money. They're really clear to follow, nice instructions. Um, there's some beautiful patterns in here, eight projects. There's quite a lot of applique patterns in here, so I thought I'd sort of um, focus on um, bonded appliques this morning. We'll do a little bit of patchwork as well. Look at that, isn't that lovely? It's just beautiful, I love it. It's a simple um, kit. We looked at our ombres and they just weren't quite, were they? The ombres started to go dark again, because yeah. I was very tempted to do yeah, this so one. Our, our ombre, the latest collection of our ombres starts dark and goes light in the middle and then dark again on the other side, so we don't have the height to no, this panel. because you needed, um, um, however, one and, three, one and a third yards, which is a metre for us really. The Shari was it Shari Jenkins' collection that we had, the lipstick cowgirl? Yes. That does ombre from dark through to light. So we do have some, but the ones, the ombre confetti, they go dark to light to dark again, and they just wouldn't have given the height, unless you were going to scale it down and make a smaller version. Yes. Which um, would be would, fine as well. And also, there's nothing to stop you um, doing striped uh, piecing in an ombre. You know, that would add to the, to the effect. But mm -hmm. I just loved the simplicity of that and a lot of that is the quilting and it's help, not isn't it if it's switched across <laughs> it's not <laughs> there we are. Um, the quilting on it is not complex quilting either no. it's very there's a lot of straight line quilting in there and it's very easy to follow do you know and it's so effective isn't it this yes you've done something similar to this before and i've gone oh jane wow and then you're like Gemma, stop and look again yeah. just look at what it is and i'm like oh my gosh it's straight lines yeah but it's so clever. I love it. All the applique pieces are to size. You don't have to worry about um, enlarging. Great. Having a printer that can enlarge or having to find a library that's open that can enlarge it for you. It's there to size. You may have to join them up, but it's easy to follow. Um, so that's, that's, for me, that's a bonus because it means you can just get on yeah, straight absolutely. away. You can open the book and start. There's nothing worse than opening yeah. a pattern and then finding you've got to enlarge all the pattern pieces by 220%. Oh, I mean, don't. what is that? That is, like... that is techie stuff that yeah. we don't like. My printer doesn't do that. No. It's A4 no. and copy and that's it. 
<laughs> this is the one behind us. Now you can see they've they've used a panel in the middle of of their their um, uh, sample in They're the book. They're cardinals, aren't they? Those birds. Yes. Yeah. Because it's American, they have cardinals in America. Um, but it's just a serving suggestion. Yeah. You put your feature fabric in there just as Jane has. In fact, well, I, you know, I, I took the poinsettia piece. fabric, which you can see hanging behind Gemma, and I fussy cut the squares. There's a fat quarter piece in there. I got the four squares out, no problem, with quite a lot left over. So nice. it's a generous piece of fabric within the kit. And all of the fabrics, there's, there's plenty in there with some left over to you put into your stash and make a matching cushion or something like that. There's um, a little bit of the thread that binds fabric in there. We'll go through yeah. the kit in a minute. It's cleverly it, put together, this it chain. blends beautifully yeah. with that collection. Amazing. It's very cleverly put together. Um, it chose well. It chose I'm well. going to demonstrate this Silent Night Runner because I love the effect on the background of the runner and we'll talk about that in a moment. You've got the, co the Kaleidoscope Runner. That's an easy one to do. Squares and half square triangles. Holiday style. It's, that's really pretty as well. That's a nice pieced block. Um, this one's called Christmas Sweater because it looks like one of the Fair Isle type designs. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Um, you could do that with planes or some of your Christmas fabric out of your stash. And look at this lovely Log Star cabin. Log cabin. Amazing. Um, one, that is beautiful. That's going to be a timeless one that you'll bring out again and again. So it's eight projects. Look at that star in there. Easy to follow instructions. Lovely cutting instructions. So straightforward. There, that's a foundation paste, pieced um, pattern. Pieces are there. There's a whole section. They call it paper piecing. There's a whole section there about how that works. But if you watch last week's show, there was a lot. I did oh, a lot it on was, foundation it paper piecing. It was the piecing. crash course in foundation paper piecing. It was a rather long piecing. show, I know. And I do thank you all for bearing with me and keeping with me while we did it. But It was very educational. I had Jane. a lot of lovely emails saying thank you for that demonstration, <clears> which is really lovely to hear because... You know, sometimes you, you do wonder who you're talking to and whether you've lost people's attention. And we get off air and you say, oh, no, that went on a bit. I, ho I hope everyone wasn't bored. And then we get lovely messages saying, thank you so much. Yeah. It was so helpful. And we think, oh, so that's really Krish. nice. <laughs> the, um, the quilt behind me uses um, flying geese in the, in the blocks. Yes. There's a whole section in here about how to make the flying geese. The no waste method that I love, where you use one large square and four small squares. Yeah. Also, the other method that they use as well. So you've got two choices of how you want to make your flying geese. It says three at the top, Jane. It says three. Three. three Sorry. Ways. Yes. Because Amazing. you can put your triangles and join them on pious yeah, edges, yeah. which is not much fun sometimes. <laughs> um, so yeah, and there's also a piece here about fussy cutting. So if you have got a panel that you want to use, you can see here. They've used um, a beach hut type panel, so it doesn't have Great. to be Christmassy. That is a pattern that you could use with any of your fabric collection. It's a classic sort of quilt pattern. It's not too big, so it's not over facing for quilting. 44 by 44 and three quarters by 44 and three quarters is what it comes out at. Amazing. So it's not huge. You can see it fits nicely behind us. So yes, it was a lovely quick, for me, it was a quick one to make. Um, it's probably a weekend project, maybe a little bit longer by the time you've got everything together. But they're all lovely, easy to follow projects. There's quite a bit, as I say, of applique in there. So you've got um, your eye on this. Have this you one, not? this. Um, you've got, you're going to be making a lot. I can runner. tell, Jane. <laughs> it's a we'll, little, be, uh, well, we'll be grabbing. I this quite book. often find with these Annie Quilting books. They're such good value for money because there's always more than one pattern yeah. that you want to make. Sometimes you'll buy a book because you like the pattern yeah. on the front. And that's it. And then when you yeah. get the book and open it, you'll think, oh, yeah. there's only really one pattern in here that I do actually want to do. But I do find with these Annie's ones, there's yeah. such a variety and such a variety of skill level as well. Yes. So for beginners through to people that are more experienced. Yeah. There's something for everyone in there's these. There's elements as well that you can grab and use in a different project. So the star template, the tree yes, templates that absolutely. we're Absolutely, you can make cushion you know, table mats that match all sorts of things. This block here, you might want to just take that applique and use really, you know, vibrant summery colours and put it into a cushion at some point. You yeah. know, it's, that, in fact, that would be brilliant then turned into your flange cushion that you did yes, the other week with absolutely. us. absolutely. And 
and that's going to be the book that you keep dipping back into and using over and over yes. again. The amazing thing about this book is you're getting those eight projects in, all of that technique and the templates, and it's eight ninety nine. That's less than eight well, it's just over a pound a pot. It is a pattern. Forgive me. I don't me. know anywhere that we can get a pattern yeah. for just over a pound. Absolutely right. Forgive me. We do have limited stock of these books. Mercifully, I spoke to our supplier a while ago when we were scheduling this show, and I reserved stock of the book that they yes, have put we, aside for some us. Some of you may know that we've been having a few few problems with At times <laughs> um, delivery of the Search Press books, and they, after we'd ordered them, they told us they were out of stock, so we had to ask you to wait for a moment. Those should be going out to you by now. Yes. Please let me know if you don't receive them because I will get in touch with Search Press and they are very good they and they are. will, if they feel that it possibly has been sent to you and it's too long now for it to have got to you, they'll send it again. Oh, absolutely. They They've won't got to an no hesitation nope. about resending it. Nope. So if you are experiencing any delay other than when we've let you know, because we will always let you know if something's on a delay, um, please do get in touch with us at info at natashamakes.com. Yes. I will do my best to find out where it is, let you know if I know where it is. I can get a tracking number for our, some of our parcels. Search Press don't send their parcels tracked. They do send them out first class though, so they yes. should be with you quite quickly. Yes. Um, so the stock that we have of this book is what they have. They are sold out on their own website now. Yes. But they've put my stock aside because I reserved it probably a couple of months ago now. Yeah, we planned these we things ahead. Quite way ahead um, didn't we? But yes, so they've put this book aside for us. But the stock that we have is all we have. Once they have it back in stock, sure, we'll restock it. But for now, yes limited is it we said jane grab me now or lose me forever, forever or lose me for now because <laughs> <laughs> we don't know when it'll get stocked back yeah. in if it does so i've put kits together for these two projects um the one behind us the larger quilt we've got some of the poinsettia um is it poinsettia plaza yes yeah so you've got this lovely um I was going to say filigree, I think that's what it's called. It's beautiful. That's in the border. That fabric there is called Swirl Soiree. Swirl, Swirl Soiree. What yes. a lovely name. Swirl Soiree. That, this is some of our 100% um, cotton basics. This is our ivory colour. And then you've got a piece of the um, holly berry. And when you first look at this, you're like, well, that's daisies. But then this leaf here and the holly berries it's such a nice un-Christmassy collection this is I love it because yes it's Christmassy it's holly berries and everything like that but it's not overly Christmas I love no. Christmas don't get me wrong I'm, it's my favorite part of the year but this collection is just classic and it's the sort that you would be able to bring out it is lovely to know that if this went with your color scheme that it can just stay out and yeah. be used and loved and so no. those are the borders and the, the triangles within the blocks. Then you've got these two pieces, which are actually from the thread that, Threads That Bind collection, but the greens just complement the greens in the holly berries perfectly. Yes. Now, in the pattern, this fabric is all the same. Um, if I just bring the, the pattern down, you'll see they've used the same fabric for the borders here as they've used in the stars. Well, I decided that I would use the spot in the stars and this one with the stars and the vines um, as the borders because I like that idea and I, that's what I did. So I'm, I'm giving you the option to do the same. And then we've got for the applique pieces, you've got the poinsettia which goes in the middle, which is the fussy cut bit in the middle of the squares there. And then the applique pieces, you've got red and the green and this lovely grey, mottled grey spray time it is. Um, that we've used for the applique and then I've used um, some of the vine that I had left over from cutting the border in there as well because they've got two greens within within the applique. It just complements so well. It Those just colours are spot on and well it's all moda isn't it yes. at the end of the day. We've got our cotton planes, a yep. bit of macaw but the rest of that is moda. And then this is how it goes. Yeah. I mean, obviously, you just grab these, just go and whoosh like that, and it comes together. Wouldn't that be amazing? Yes. <laughs> like Mary Poppins. Yes. 
<laughs> or, or like the fabulous late great Angela Lansbury oh, yes, in Bed Knobs and, and Broomsticks. broomsticks. Yeah. Oh, how heartbroken were we? Oh, a wonderful yes. lady. My well, husband's not seen that film, really? and I'm, I'm really thinking our entire marriage has been a lie. So we're going to have to sit and watch Bed Knobs and Broomsticks. I was brought my up on that. My auntie used to run a nursery, yeah. and they had, um, a, I think it was a village fair. I can't remember what it was, but it was a parade. And my dad helped convert a milk float <gasps> into the bed no. for Bed Knobs and Broomsticks. I just remember it. I remember them doing it with the fish Amazing. hanging down and everything. It was brilliant. I love that film. My granddad had recorded it off the telly. And he kept shoving the VHS in, and he, every time we went, we'd watch that. Yeah. Probably the Herbie films as well. Mm. We'd have fish and chips from around the corner, and he'd get us an adult portion. Yes. And whenever he ordered his adult portion, he'd say, It's a lot of food, those little children <laughs> won't eat it. And he'd say, You watch them. <laughs> and this is why I'm so fabulous and slim. <laughs> 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 Who doesn't love a chippy tea, eh? Oh, the best things <laughs> in the world. Right, We've so that's the welcome fun. friends. Quick What's up on, on YouTube, Jane? So I'm just going to quickly mention our YouTubers. Lovely. Diane's over in Melbourne. She says, we've just wrapped up a beautiful day here. Bright and sunny, 21 degrees. Oh, nice. Um, it's a nippy autumn day in West Berkshire with Ali. Diane says, my dress so matches the set. It does. It's a beautiful dress. <laughs> Cynthia's with us from a very crisp southwest Ohio. She's a little bit sad that she can't get involved with the half metre heavens because she's in love with all of the colour choices. Um, and yeah. Yeah. Makes her a stalker of our makes, though. She's enjoying watching what we do, so Lovely. that's good. And she's also, Diane says she's loving the sage colour this Christmas. Yes. I really it's love the nice. sage. It's nice. It's I soft. I love it. I love it. Soft and classical. Thank you, Ali, for your lovely comments as well. We have got now the kit for the table runner. Now, it's basically two creams. So, again, I've gone with a thread that's, that, that binds. Now, you're going to tell me what this... I keep calling it the stars and ferns, <laughs> and it's called something else, is it? I will pull it up. Um, it's got a lovely name, I but I can't remember it. Well, but no, I've got it on parchment, the and then this dotty one, which is also in parchment, but it's slightly lighter, so it just gives you that little subtle. You'll see in a moment how that works together. We've added in a little bit of our Lisa flowering gum green, because it's got this gold metallic, which just enough sparkle for Christmas I think we've done the borders and some of the trees in that garden party and moss rose moss are. rose that's moss it. rose in tan and garden party can in we parchment. go close up on this yeah, because I think this fabric is really Christmassy even though it's got nothing to do with Christmas do you know it's the stars isn't it's it it's stars and, the, and, and almost ferns looks like, like yeah. garlands I it love looks it. like you've got in amongst the trees. we have it? got it's the thread that that binds collection and we've got it and it's got little red stars with the green ferns in it in one of the the colorways as well which is so pretty and very Christmassy I think but again it's one of those fabrics that you'd have it in your stash and you'd be yes. able to use it with anything so we've got those three pieces there they make the borders and the center of the table runner and then there's a plique it says in here use assorted scraps of green brown and gold we've put you in You'll have enough left over of this one. Excuse me, I'm going to sneeze. Oh, that's all right. <coughs> Wait for it. Excuse me, sorry. Oh, at least you don't sneeze like I do. <sighs> that really loud, squeaky fairy <laughs> sneeze that I do. Really high-pitched squeak. Fabric dust at my nose. <laughs> um, Plenty of that about, isn't there? Yes. <laughs> so you're going to have some of this left over, which you can use within it. And then we put you a fat quarter of bumbleberries and a fat quarter of linen, Macau linen texture. And then we've got some um, linen effect. There's a fat eighth of that for the stars and a fat eighth of our um, brunette, I think I put in. Yes, you did. Um, for the tree trunks. So you've got, I mean, a fat eighth is a massive amount. If I show you, I've got my applique cut under here. I, um, I set myself a task, as I always do. Didn't get very much done. That's all right, Jane. That um, just means we get to see more, which so is always good. There'll be a very um, detailed demonstration. <laughs> but you can see We're you're going to need that. four of those and two of those from the brown. Nice. So you've got plenty left over in your stash, should you need it. Or you put it in your stash and you take out your scraps of brown that you've already got. They don't have to be the same, do they, for tree no. trunks? No. So They're quite nice to mix It's them a up, nice, gener generous kit. You'll have plenty left over, is what I'm trying to say. So Never that's a kit. bad thing, Jane, because once no. you've made some trees, 
you're going to want to make more trees and you they are make lovely place mats to you match. can make place mats to match you know what yeah, else i table well? center i'd make my i'd make my trees i'd be tempted to back them and then be able to have them hanging up but also you could make fabric gift tags with these trees on that would be fabulous yeah. Absolutely. You could do napkins with but the, the applique really, on one yes. side. It'd be a really nice way to start and practice with them would be to make something like a fabric tag. If you haven't done the sort of stitching around on your applique before, it'd yeah. be a good way to have a go, wouldn't it? Absolutely. Absolutely. So I have too many Christmas trees, that's all I'm saying. You no, know, there's, there's never an excuse not to have a Christmas tree. Look at you tidying. <laughs> I dropped everything so on the floor. Good. I just went like that then and knocked everything flying. So it's all right. We're real here. Happens at home, doesn't it, yeah, everybody? We do it all the time here. <laughs> Throw everything everywhere. That's what we do. <laughs> right. Like to make a mess, don't we, Jane? Well, you can't make anything <laughs> if you don't make a mess. Nope. Can't make an omelette without cracking eggs. Crackers and eggs, eh? Or throwing so fabric everywhere. <laughs> I have not managed to get the runner together and I have made ours slightly smaller because yes. it's um, a good length. It's 61 by 18 when it's finished. I have got the middle done and the first border. Yes. You will add. You've made this the perfect size to sit on our dresser. It's going to yes. look fabulous. It'll look stunning. Yes. I, I shall come in and all the will bits add, will have moved. <laughs> this will be there. <laughs> you will add the bo another border on. Great. Just like so. Sides and ends. Again, the construction of it is very clearly written in the here. It's oh, done alphabetical pieces, so you follow it alphabetically. Border E goes on, then border F, then border C, and then border D. It's very straightforward. All the cutting instructions, they tell you which piece. So like here, it says four one and a half times by width of fabric, C and D strips, stitched together, and then subcut. So C is 59 and a half, and D is 18 and three quarters. That is that outer border. It's very easy to follow the instructions. Maybe, and it's a suggestion for you, that when you cut them, you just put a little sticky label on with the letter so that you know which piece is which. It's very easy to follow and you probably wouldn't get lost, but that always yeah. helps a little bit. Or if you are someone who has your little baggies, you know, yeah. and pops everything into little bags. These are my you know, binding strips that I've got cut here because I cut all my borders and my binding out. Then I knew what fabric I got left over perfect. for my applique. So I did all of that. That was from the green I've print on here. I've learned from the best, Jane. I always, always, always do the same with my um, my binding and pop it to one side with yeah. binding written on it before That's I then go stitching worth. it somewhere I shouldn't or chopping it into pieces. Because it's not the fun thing to do. Um, all my applique pieces here, which at some point I will go, oh, I'm sure I cut something here <laughs> yeah. and all over the place. So for these the middle part, the patchwork pit, which gives this lovely chevron effect. And it's very subtle chevron because it's cream and cream, but there's a very subtle difference in shading, which I love. It's not in your face chevron. You could make it in your face if you wanted to. Yeah. You could change the cut darker colors. You could. But it's very subtle, so it doesn't detract from the um, applique, but gives you a nice um, effect. So. That is very straightforward to make because it's not done. And it looks fancy, Jane. It looks like a this chevron. It looks really fancy but and really complicated. You start with two of your cream strips sewn together, press the seams to one side, and then you're going to subcut those up into, let me just check what it is. Five and been a half. asleep since then, haven't you, Jane? Yeah, it's a long time ago since I made that. <laughs> um, five and a half inch squares. So just trim that end off. And when I'm cutting my um, squares, I line one of my lines up, um, the horizontal lines, with the seam line nice. there rather than the top and the bottom. So you'll just you lose your top and your bottom into your seams, you don't can, you, when you start absolutely. piecing? Whereas that, that line through the middle, that needs to be straight, doesn't it, Jane? Yeah. And it tells you exactly how many of strips to cut and how many pieces to then subcut it into. You're going to need quite a few, I think, if I remember rightly. That's okay. Um, It'll 43. Tell mm -hmm. It tells you all in the instructions. Everything's written in there. But then you sew them together. Following the chart, you're going to make two lots that have... 
um, the seam three going. So you've got one horizontally, one vertically, and the other one horizontally. And then you'll make a set with five in. So you'll do the same thing, and then you'll add two more onto there. Then once you've got those sewn, and you'll have two squares left over, which you then put on there. And you sew them together in rows, and so you'll have you'll have rows that look um, a little bit like this. And what happens is, let me just get this right, that's got to go. I have to remember how to do this because <laughs> to get your chevron, it's very easy to follow in the instruction and you can see it here. But because I haven't got them sewn together, you will have them looking like this. So you'll have your line nice. there and you'll stop sewing there, but you'll have all this extra. I got you, I see. Then you take, once you've got them sewn together, you take your ruler and just make sure that you're a quarter of an inch away on the seam line here. Yes. It says it all in the instructions and you trim it across straight, which gives you this chevron nice. effect. It's so easy to it do. It is clever, isn't it? It is clever. There's a bit of wastage, but you can always put that in your scraps again you know, there's something that you'll be able to use that for. So that construction of that patchwork in the middle is very easy to do. So the bonded applique. Now, bonded applique is literally what it says. That you, sounds schmancy, Jane. It take, you take um, one of your paper applique sheets, um, your bonded sheets, so this is Bonderweb that we've got. We've got this by the half metre, don't we, Gemma? You, yes, you are a fan of the Bonderweb. I like Bonderweb. We have steamer seam as well, and steamer seam is good because you take one of the layers off. That's got paper on both sides, but when you take one of the layers off, it's still bonded. Yes. It's got like a tack to it, so, so you, you can, can place. place it down, check you're in the right place, and then do it. It works exactly the same way. You still need to apply heat to, take, to adhere it to your project. The... Um, the thing with bonded uh, with applique, bonded applique like this is that it comes out to reverse to the pattern, so that's fine because these are already put in the mm -hmm. in the in the reverse. So, like for the um, flower here, they give you one set of leaves, and in the instructions it says to you. Um, you need to, referring to the list, you need two flower shapes and one flower, they've done one of the flower shapes in a different red. You would have some of your um, prints left over that you yes. could use for your applique if you wanted to nice. do a different one. I did them all the same. It's a nice option, isn't it, to have? Um, and then you need to, you've got two of the stems in the mint colour and you need to reverse one of the small stems. Now, I, for a moment, I had a bit of a, um, oh God, I've got to reverse. What am I going to do? I'm going to hold it up to the window and then I'll, rec and then I'll, I'll um, um, trace it through from the other side. And then I had a bit of a, um, a lightning bolt, a light bulb <laughs> moment. So um, I, fold, I, I traced my leaf shape off. I'm just going to do this very roughly because I want to do it quickly to show you. I trace my leaf shape off like so, and I want to reverse that. So I actually just funded, folded my bond web over, and then if I put it on a light surface, I could see through it, and I traced it through the bond web. Okay. Like so. So it's it's the bonded side together. You can see it through, and there you see. I've now got the reverse. Very of clever, that shape. Jane. <laughs> I was just like, "Oh, I didn't know you could do that. That's right. clever." Sometimes these things yeah. hit you, and you think, "Why on earth didn't think of that before?" Yes, very good. So that's how you can get the, sh the shapes, and it tells you in here exactly which shapes it is that you need to have the reverse of, because the middle one you only need one of those, but it's two of those, and the leaves as well are reversed. So that's a quick way, and you can do that quite easily just by by um, folding your bond web over. Now bond web comes; it's like paper, feels like paper. It's got a smooth side and a rough side. 
the rough side is the adhesive. Mm -hmm. It's like glue, but it's not set. And the, when you apply the heat to it, that melts the glue, which then makes it adhere to your fabric. Brilliant. So when you're doing um, any sort of bonded applique, you trace your shape off from your pattern. I've got the star here. I've traced, I've traced the star off. If I get it the right way around so you can see. Just by placing the sheet over the top with a pencil, an ordinary pencil, just done the outline following that round. If you want to be super accurate, you could place a ruler on the line and follow it through. Then so when I've got everything, um, everything traced off, I then trim around, leaving between a quarter of an inch and an eighth of an inch, not too much, but not on the line okay. of the shape. And then we place that on our fabric, on the reverse side of our fabric, on the wrong side. I'm going to have to come over by you, Gemma, and just use the iron. Yeah, of course. Okay. Of course, of course. And then you apply heat. Now, with Bonderweb, unlike steamer seam, you don't have to have the steam setting on your iron. So if you're like me and you've always got a dry iron, it's perfect. So you apply your pressure with your iron, and that now is adhered to my fabric. Simple as that. I then cut it out along the drawn line. And the, the reason, reason you don't, yeah. The <laughs> reason, <laughs> I was going to say, Jane, tell me, tell me. <laughs> the reason you do this is because it's like, when you look at the reverse side of Bonderweb in very close up, it's like little dots of right. glue. So when you apply the heat, that melts the glue, which spread, they spread out. Oh. So if you cut your piece of fabric, a uh, piece of Bonderweb on the line and then put it on your fabric, yes. a bit of the adhesive will seep out of the edge, possibly. Oh, that or would be not. messy, potentially. So you might not get your glue going right to the edge of your applique. So that's why you cut it through. And I would always recommend, and I know I didn't do it, but you know, if you've got your Teflon pressing sheet or um, yes. a, a tea towel or something like that, you just pop that over the top and it just protects your iron. Perfect. From getting any glue on it. But Bonderweb's pretty good. It doesn't tend to mess your iron up unless you get it caught up. So that's what you do. You take your, um, cut it out. And now you've got, this is the paper side. So you have the paper side facing up against your iron. Because obviously if you put the glue side facing up, it's going to stick to your iron. Oh, and no one mess. wants to do that. That would not be fun. No, and it really does make a mess. So that's your... Um, so then to apply that to your um, fabric, and I'm just following the diagram on, on the... Um, on the pattern there, I can see how the fabric placement goes. If you turn it over, you can see it more clearly on the front cover, the front picture of how everything goes. Now, to get the paper off, I don't recommend that you, you sit there and try and peel it away okay. from the edge because you're very likely to fray your fabric then. So I just take a pin and I scrape it along the middle there, and you can see now that pin's just got under the paper. I just flick that paper down there and then I can just pull the paper backing off. And then you'll feel your fabric feels a little bit like almost plasticky. Right. It's got a plastic film. That's okay. the adhesive. Amazing. And so you just take your paper off. It's a bit staticky and it tends to stick to you. You can't get it off. <laughs> and then you place, you place your star down, just referring to the picture approximately there. Oh, look. And you take it to the iron. Yes. And you just iron it down. And that's bonded onto your onto your fabric now. Two pieces of fabric bonded together. Amazing. Now, if you were never going to have to wash that or move it very much, you would you could just leave it like that but I recommend that you sew it down. Now you can sew it down several different ways. You can use your buttonhole stitch. Okay. Which I've got my machine set for, and I'll just do that. 
or you can do straight line. And I'll do one of the trees as well, and I'll do I'll show you how straight line works so as you're well. You're doing like a uh, blanket stitch type. Yeah, foot and hole blanket stitch. Nice. Just line your um, foot up with the edge, and just work your way around. Um, it gives a really nice, um, like rusticy effect, which is quite nice. Just take your time, keeping your stitch as close to the edge of the um, bonded fabric as you can. You might just want to play with your with your um, blanket stitch to get the right length for your machine. Sometimes this, the default setting can be quite small, and you might want to lengthen your stitch a bit. Just have a play with it. When you um, find the one you want that you like, just make a note of it somewhere. It's always worth, and I've seen people do this. Um, sometimes you can make like a little sample and make notations next to it, so you know what the oh, settings clever. are. So you've really got like clever. a little reference book. <clears throat> That's a great idea, Jane. Um, but it's always worth noting which is your favourite one because you can guarantee you'll come to your machine next time and you'll think what did I set that up? Oh and there's nothing more frustrating is there really? Well it doesn't you know you can play again and try <laughs> no, and find but out you, but when you think to yourself I worked this out once before yes. and I've not noted it down. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so yeah it can be quite frustrating. Come on machine there we go. And when you're sewing um, machine buttonhole, it likes to go um, forward, back and then down. So it's worth trying to sort of get used to the way that it works so you know where to stop for when you turn. Because sometimes you need to stop when it's coming down and other times you need to stop as it's going across. So again, it takes practice and it's worth, you know, just getting a scrap of fabric first and placing it on, you know, and having a play with a piece of scrap fabric, you know, bond a shape and have a go at going around that before you start on your actual project. And that'll help you, you know, get to used to when where you go to to return, you know, to turn and and um, where you need to stop. Amazing. Geraldine's joined us. Hi, um, Geraldine. I know. She says, this looks interesting, Jane. I think she <coughs> means the quilt behind us as well. Yes. Um, and then, bless her, she's had battery issues. She oh. doesn't have a charger with her, but she's going to watch on her phone. <laughs> oh. Oh, and Auntie Lizzie's laptop's going on her as well. Oh, no. <laughs> so, she's, hers froze. I thought, hang on, are we really frozen? No one else seems to think we're frozen. I think it's just her battery going. So, it's all happening today, Jane. Oh, dear. No pressure, but, you know, speed up quick. Yeah. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Get on with it. <laughs> Quick before everyone's uh, devices go to sleep. Funny. I just buttonhole gives a lovely um, effect. I think you know it's quite neat and it and it yes. gives a lovely sort of nice finish. Do you know I did this for the first time. I made um, a sample cushion front with the Liberty. Yes. And I couldn't get over just how beautifully it came out. Yeah. Because the machine does the work for you, so long as you start in the right place, yes, and you just Work proceed your way. straight, yeah. you're fine. It just does what it, it, it needs to do. Yeah, you can just Amazing. take your time, work your way around your shape. Yes, and you can work a lot slower than Jane is. She's got. I'm just uh, doing know, it for demo, to demo shoot. purposes, <laughs> and it's probably the points of my stars could it's all right. um, take a little work, but it's fine. And the effects. The effect is there. Oh, don't panic, don't panic, Geraldine. She says, Jane, be careful. The rotary cutters are under your fabric. They are, but we always they make sure closed. that we engage. Yeah, absolutely. So They're both closed. Jane has been known. She is mama of the building, and she'll come round and she will, well, not slap our wrists, but we get told, we get told off if we Shut leave a blade that down. that blade. <laughs> the blade. Like... The second Jane has finished a cut, the blade gets retracted. Yeah. Um, I have I have my teacher's voice in my head that yes. says, "Open, cut, close." You yeah, know, it's like. And sometimes like she's doing many, many cuts, but you still watch her put the blade away and get it back out, and blade away and get it back out. I've, I've seen her, so yeah. Thank you, but, but thank not. you. Yes, no, we're we're good. Thank you, though, Geraldine, for 
caring. I do love that everyone looks out for us. It's so yeah. lovely. So you can see there. Look at that. That gives a nice effect. That now that star is not going to go anywhere. You can wash Ooh, that. Can we close up, move Jane? Round. Can we? Oh, do we have to? It's a bit. <laughs> oh, you did it on demo. I know it's, it's you know speedy, speedy. It's but. not. A, it's not a particularly big blanket stitch. Nice. It's nice. But it just oh, listen to, to you. Oh, do we have to? That looks smart enough to me. Look at that. Um, and you know, I know you said you can leave them unstitched, but there is something really lovely about having a little It does give it a nice finish. Edge. It does give it a nice finish. But you don't um, have to stitch it with this stitch, you were saying. No, you can use um, a straight stitch, mm -hmm. and I'll do one of the trees with a, state, a straight stitch. Uh, that was Can't more state. tricky to say than you yes. thought, wasn't it? Just it's looking at that overhead. big one there, so we can put that just about there, I think. Oh, no. Again, it doesn't really matter um, where you go with this. I don't think that piece is that meant to be there. Geraldine's thanked us for moving the rotary cutters. Bless her. She's kittens. No more. Very don't quietly. Worry, don't worry. It's all right. Let's just Blade engaged and out that the way. One. That's the bottom of my tree. There we go. That's the large one. I haven't taken the um, backings off these yet, just because it's always nice just to make sure you've got the right one. Oh, and the thing about this good. is, you know, you can make them a little bit wonky. It doesn't matter if you're not, you know, if you're not quite straight with you. It doesn't have to be lined up. In fact, the wonkiness of it just gives it a little bit more of a, a rustic look. You can make it very straight if you want to. But once you're happy with the placement of it, just move everything out of the way. And this is where you really need your iron and your... I would do this personally. I would do this on my ironing board. Yes. Just because I've got everything together there. And I'm probably just... If I move the mat... Move the mat onto here. We can do it that way. So oh, again, Geraldine says, can I say how lovely you both look today? Geraldine, you can say that as much as you yes, like. Yes, you can always say we that, We will Geraldine. take that That's and lovely. suck it right up thank and you. enjoy that greatly. Thank you. <laughs> so I'm going to put the trunk just about there, I think. And so I'm going to reach across you, Gemma. With That's right. Iron. I'm fully out of the way now. I've I moved hate to all put things. the iron down on your laptop. That would be just oh, I like know. the end of Natasha oh, makes for a moment. <laughs> I know. <laughs> How would the business everything, function? Everything's done on Gemma's laptop. It is. Actually, everything, everything. Yeah, literally everything. All the things. Yeah. If ever your laptop just decided to die, we'd I be know, in real be, It wouldn't be fun, would it? We have got a computer here. I just need to point that out to everybody. Yes, but it's not, it's not the computer that rules the world, which my laptop is. Yeah. <laughs> we just bond that piece on there. Just making sure that the underneath fabric isn't rucked up underneath. You wouldn't to give your backing fabric a really good press before you start doing this. And then we'll put the next one on. But I don't think you'll be doing your demo live on a show, so you'll be fine. No, you'll be fine. <laughs> and you can take your time with yours, you know, you can do a little bit at a time, come back to it. That's very satisfying, the tearing off of that backing, isn't it? Oh, it is. It's it? very lovely. I'm going, to, I'm going to put my trees on the wonk a little bit, just so that I can, just because they can. A jaunty angle, Jane. Yes. And you can press these Lisa fabrics just because we have had a query before about all the metallic. Surely I shouldn't put the iron down on it. No, beautifully no, you're bonded good. on. There's nothing, there's that metallic is not going anywhere. Lisa's fabrics are actually wonderful to quilt with and to applique with because they are such a fantastic quality base cloth. You're not getting frayed edges. No, it's, um, it they is are a really good quality. Brilliant. So, yep, you know, cut. Oh, is it that way or is it that way? Press. I don't think Do it matters particularly. I'm just having, as I said, I'm going to have mine on a little bit of a wonk. Trees aren't straight. Because, you know, that Are adds they? to the fun of it. Look at it. I love how quickly that's come together as well. Yeah. And, you know, yes, there's a pattern here. You don't have to follow it. No. If you just want one tree and the star like that, yeah. there's nothing. Nobody else but you knows how that pattern's going to be. No. So if you wanted to do a straight stitch... You would literally set your machine to the middle <laughs> stitch. Yep, remember that bit. <laughs> you don't Why want too to small you? of a stitch, just, you know, your standard stitch, really. And you're just going to sew it just inside the fabric. Um, literally, it's probably, it's not even eight, an eighth of an inch, really. And again, have a practice on a bit of scrap first. These are nice because they're straight lines. 
so you've not got any awkward curves to go around yeah. where you have to stop, move your fabric, stop, turn it, move it, stop. You know, it can drive you quite potty. But it's just inside. It's just enough to hold the fabric to together, lining it up. It shouldn't fray, but if it does fray a little bit, it sort of adds to the to the effect sometimes. If you want to, you can go round again. And if you go round again, you know, don't necessarily aim to be exactly on the line. It gives it a nice sort of free embroidery finish to it, even though we're doing it without free embroidery. That can give it a bit of a rustic look as well. Do you know, that's, that was the thing. When I first did some applique and tried to sort of straight line stitch around the edge, because I wanted it precise to the, you know, in fact, tiniest you know, degree of a, you can a millimetre. Have a bit of a, a wobble when you do the next line round, just to give it that yeah. free motion effect. Well, this is what I ended up doing, because I did go off at one point and I was distraught. And then I thought, do you know what, actually? I'm going to go over. And I think I went round the pieces three times yeah. and made each one wobbly in a different way. Yeah. And I loved it. It looked really... Okay, Helen, that kind of shabby chic look Helen Newton it. does some beautiful um, applique with free motion embroidery round and I think she goes round hers two or three times mm -hmm. and you know I think she encourage you, encourages you to try not to um, stitch on, on the line each time you know just to go either side. If I've you done can a few things there. now and it, each time I just make sure so I always prefer it when it's got that wobbly edge to it. You can see on yeah, there. Yeah, that 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 look great. That's lovely. And of course you can always do a zigzag or a satin stitch. Have a play on your machine and see which one you like. Yeah. You know, it, it works really well for all of them. That I like that looks beautiful, Jane. I like the buttonhole. But look how much that pops now you've edged it. Yeah. And then you've got two smaller trees, you see. And the, th the thread I've used is, is like a, a pale yellow, which also sort of complements this, but also nice. sort of looks almost goldy. And it is very pale, but it just, like you say, it jumps. But I think it brings out some of this yeah, as well in the but there's nothing to stop you going around them in no. green. Or, no. um, and the, you could have fun with these. You could embellish them with beads or... Yes, and whatever. please do check out no. Craft Corner because we have yeah. sparkly things. You could pop Put a little sparkly star thing at the, the top, top of your and tree. all sorts of things. You could have really good fun with that. And on the pattern, you've got another two trees, the smaller ones. They're slight, one slightly up from the other and so it overlaps slightly at the bottom there. I think I'd have to bring them down a little bit, otherwise they're going to be sitting on top of the star. They but you've so got your cute. three fabrics in there, so you can... Yeah, and don't have, your, you know, your, your um, trunks all in a row. You know, make yeah, sure they make are look down like and they'll look like some are small, some are far away. Yeah. Some are nearer. Again, you know, you can do them a little bit wonky. It adds to the fun of it. Um, if we put that one there like that. And we can put, I've got, I've got all different colours of um, treetops here. And I said, didn't I, that I'd come here and I'd say, <laughs> I've got more tops well, somewhere. There it is. It. Where's my bits? Where have they all gone? <laughs> so I've, I've tried to make sure that I've got all the shapes in, in, yes. in varying, in varying colours so that all the trees look slightly different. But if you are one of those people who wants it all matchy matchy, you can. You can have your trees no all in the they're same. they're your trees. You know, if you wanted to do your tree, all the same fabrics. We've been generous with the fabric. You can do them all the We've same. We've been super generous with the fabric. And I think this is a good time to mention that I've also been super generous with the kits have for today you, Have you been discounting only. again? I have. We have got limited stock of the kits, but... I have been generous and we have taken £10 off as an introductory price for today. So please do make use of that offer if that is something you want. And if you look at these bundles, I mean, they're beautiful and they're decent sized pieces. The, on each of the listings, it does tell you exactly what you're getting in your bundle. But if you look and think, mm, I wouldn't necessarily make the projects we've shown you today, but they'd be useful for another project for you. 
we're not judging on no, the chain. No, we're not no saying rule what that you says make. you've got to make what we've made with them. Absolutely not. So these, you know, this one here, you could make all manner of different things yeah, with this. Yeah, there's lots, there's you plenty. Know, there's both more, of them. more than enough for the applique there. Yes. You've got um, enough for the, as per the pattern. It says yards in here. We always take, when it says one yard, we always yeah. give you a metre. So again, you've got more. a little bit more anyway. Yes. So you could have fun. You could do it like I have. I just took two of the rows out of my runner. There's, it says to make seven rows, I made five. So you'd have a bit more to make matching um, placemats if you wanted Brilliant. to. Brilliant. Do one tree on the corner, whatever yes. you wanted to do, really. But we are very mindful that this is the time of year where you're looking to you know, get your gifts together, make to gift and you know it, it's not it's not a cheap thing to do sometimes so these no. kits are reduced today we do have our bolt ends which are phenomenal value they are available now and on our fabric clearance page the last chance to buy section some of those things have a little discount on them too um, all of these things are here to help you and if you are spending 50 pounds or more before you add your postage in then you can add our mystery half meter of fabric product to your basket. Just search mystery half meter, add that product in, and then pop the code free half meter in at checkout. And not only will you get the great discounts and the lovely bundles that we've created, but you will also get your free half meter of fabric. Yeah. Can't say fairer than that, no, Jane, can you we? Can't. That's, can't say fairer than that's that. That's nice. Yeah. Great so, stuff. Yeah. Well, You've got all you need to know in yeah. here. There's lots of inspiration and tips and all sorts of how-to sections within this book. So you're not going, if you're very new to it all, there's lots of information, how-to, the templates are all to size. There's all different levels of projects in here Beautiful. that you will have such fun making for yourself or for friends. This sort of quilt here, it doesn't have to be Christmassy. No, not at that all. That would make a beautiful baby quilt, wouldn't it? There's a lot of basics in here as well that you could mix and match and pull into your own projects. Again, that log cabin really one is beautiful because yes. it's like a wreath in the middle. But wouldn't that look lovely in autumnal fabrics? Yeah, really or would. spring ones, yeah. you know, it's that you could make in all four seasons and have it hanging on your wall and just change it each and time. And just that central block, Jane, I love it. It's a great cushion. big pillow to put on your yeah, yeah on your bed. Absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. It'd be great. Oh yeah. Jane, thank you so much. You're very welcome. Um, that's been really informative. Again. Good. Lovely. That's what we aim for. Well we do try. We do try. Um, and we do our best to mm. keep you entertained and excited <laughs> and we, we facilitate with the yes, fabrics also. Absolutely, bring you beautiful fabrics. Yeah. <laughs> we do. So on that level, yes, check out everything I've mentioned for today over on natashamakes.com. At midnight tonight, our half metre heavens that we showed you earlier will go live. Those will be fastest finger first. And on Friday, SJ will get her newsletter out to you with information about this week's deals. With regard to shows, Jane, we've got Natasha back next week. Yes. And she will be with day. us. She's on Creating Graphics, is she on Sunday? I believe Sunday, yes. yes. Yeah. Sunday or Saturday? Ooh. No, mm -hmm. Saturday she's going to be planning and organising yes. here. Sunday she will be on Creating Craft. But Monday and Tuesday you will catch her here for live shows with all the shenanigans. I say this, I have to put it out there, I, I have no control when she's live. None. <laughs> <laughs> not at all. So Monday and Tuesday next week, and then you and I will be back on Wednesday. Yes. Will we not? We will. But Tash might be here on Wednesday with Ooh, you. Oh, that'll be Let's nice. Let's see. Yeah. That would be nice, wouldn't yes. it? But thank you for being with us. It's been lovely to have you, and uh, enjoy. And we look forward to seeing your makes. Yes. Do share them with us. It's lovely to see them. Absolutely. Time to go to the cafe now, Jane. Yes. Take, Take care. <laughs> oh, <No>. cake. <laughs> yeah. Take care. Lots of love, and goodbye. Bye.